Hey guys and welcome to a brand new let's play of Game Dev Tycoon as the welcome message tells us. So we're gonna get right into it. We have to give our company a name. Uh, this is a, um, uh, well player name is easy. Let's do that, that's an easy one. I am a female with that color hair and I would like all those shirts are pretty ugly. Not gonna lie. Let's go with red. So basically, we're just gonna play this till either we go bankrupt or we win in inverted commas. You know. Um, we're gonna call this Sun Games Inc. Why not? Let's do it. Unlock since you have played the game before. Sure, let's do that. Alright, so we're gonna get straight into making the games. I'm very bad, you'll soon learn, at, um, you know, picking the game names. Um, well, I've played this game a few, a few times as well, so basically what I've learned is, uh, yes, I'm gonna use all the hints from last time because I still haven't actually really gotten through the game and not gone bankrupt. So that's always nice to know, isn't it? Hey. Anyway, I thought this would be a good little game to play. Well, in the meantime, between Never Alone, you know, just a short little game until the next project. So I'm gonna go for the PC. Let's let's have a look what topics we've got. Ugh, they all suck. I'm gonna do a space adventure game. No, that's a no. Space RPG game. Find a space simulation game. We're gonna... You know what, for the first one, let's just keep the cost low. We're gonna do tech space. We literally did one thing and you put a bug in it. You serious? It's like we've put the first bit of code in and it's buggy already. Don't scratch your head. Must... Ugh. She literally just spent a week scratching her head. You can't afford that. Okay. So the good thing is, because I've got these hints on, hopefully we'll make some decent games. And hopefully we can get the company to the, you know. I'm pretty sure the end stage is sort of you make your own console. Want some of that? We want a lot of sim. Apparently we don't want world design. See, in a game, in a simulation game, I would have thought world design is kind of important. I mean, look at The Sims. The world design is like everything in that. Get rid of those bugs. Jeez. Okay. I didn't even give it a name. Ha! Game 1 is ready. Fine, we're gonna, we're gonna call it Game 1. Because why not? Hopefully this game will do all right because we kind of need a little bit of money. Research some new topics because I feel all those topics suck. Can I, can I change the name? Um, let's call it Deep Space. Uh, tick that, yes. At least it. Um, can I not? It's been a little while since I've played the game so do bear with me. There we go, Generate Game Report. You always want to generate the game report because basically that tells you what's good in that combo, what's bad. Oh, of course, we're not going to need world design. It's a text-based game, huh? Nice. Very good. Excellent. The best I've ever gotten is three tens. I have not ever gotten four tens. And apparently you can get eleven, so I don't know how you do that, but... Yes, it's quirky, but good. Excellent. Sun Game Zinks. Yes, I hope we gain fans. That would be awesome. Oh, 4K. Look at all this. We're getting so successful, and it's probably not going to last. Following results. Sound is important. Thanks. Let's do some research. A new topic. Well, they all kind of. Sell. Let's do transport. No, actually, go post-apocalyptic because 
I have a habit of doing too many simulation games, and I'm pretty sure the way it works is that if you do similar style games every time, it can affect your score, because I think they base the scores off your previous game. Oh, making all the money. Post-apocalyptic. Well, you know what? We're going to research another topic. Sports. Everybody likes sports. At least sports games. Man, we got like 51 fans. We're like, look at us go like a little indie company on Steam trying to get greenlit. Fantastic. There's not much else we can do, is it? No. Why has my car got a cover on it? Does it not work? Is it a DeLorean? New game. Do it for the PC. Actually, it's easy to pick the topic first. Let's pick our new post-apocalyptic action game. And it's gonna be called... End of the world. As we know it. Oh, and we're gonna we're gonna kick it up a notch. We did our text base. Let's go to two D graphics. See, I think the thing is, now that we started on two D graphics, I don't think we could ever go back to text base. Luckily, this let's play should actually go for a little while. That I've got these hints on because I shouldn't make too many flops to start with. Look at that! We nearly made a hundred grand in sales in our very first little text game. What was it even? It's a simulation. It was literally like. It was like Oregon, Oregon, Oregon Trail, Oregon, or Oregon Trail. I don't know. The trail game with the dips, with them, you know, the people die because you try and let them go three weeks without food. That one, Oregon Trail, isn't it? Yeah, the God of Orgies. It's okay. It might be a little cheaty that I'm using the hints, but yeah, no, the. Uh, God of War is not going to do very well at all, is it? Now, I always felt when when you're doing your, this stuff, the less bugs you have in each section, the closer to it being correct in your allocation. Can anyone confirm that for me? Because that's just something I thought. Oh, new record. And a new combo. It's because you get bonuses for the new topic, new combo, so that's why you kind of want to keep changing it up because your experience goes up which means you, you're better at those things which means you get more points for those things which means you get more experience release it generate the game report let's just be good oh gosh it froze on one I'm like oh no it's bad see we're not getting, putting out great games we're putting out decent games you know the sort of games that you buy and you might play for a couple of hours at one time and then you know, three years later you might pick up and you know, you get you get that nostalgia, you see it and then you're like, oh yeah, I want to play that again. You know, not the greatest of games, but why are you scratching your head? This is the one thing I don't understand. She's scratching her head for like a full week. How do you even do that? I do love some Dinky King on the Ninvento though. I'm sure Ninvento is going to deliver something great. However, in the grand scheme, personally, in my what I feel about gaming consoles, Nintendo is has always been behind in their consoles. Like the Wii U came out with around the time of PlayStation Three, I'm guessing. Like no, not Wii U, the Wii. Like the fact that the Wii we should probably save up for the custom engine. Let's do a life game. Um. But the fact that like the Wii was not HD when all the competitors had released or about to release HD consoles is a little bit disappointing. And then the Wii U, which, you know, it's finally HD. I mean, it's good. Let's just, let's just smash out these games. Go. Let's do a fantasy. Adventure game. Actually, a fantasy RPG. Let's do a. Let's do the final. Fa no, like, I can't steal game names. That's probably going to get me copyrighted. The last legacy. There we go. We want 2D graphics for this. 
Let's go. But yeah, I mean, Nintendo does good games. However, their consoles have always seemed felt behind the competitors once they started getting competitors. I do like the fact that this game gives you a whole heap of history though. I'm probably going to get so much hate comments for that from people. Don't I do like Nintendo, don't get me wrong, it's just when you compare the Wii to, you know, the PlayStation 3, at the, I'm assuming that must have been the closest one. You know, it's just... If the Wii had been HD, it would have been so good. I think the thing is too, the Wii was sort of... I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm just rambling about games. I like games. I feel Nintendo. What, I just you just put up kill you at the bugs. Get rid of them. I mean, I suppose this can be said about all game companies that they don't seem to take. They seem to sometimes take their consumers and their fans for granted. I mean, you know, which is a real shame. And I think they feel they can get away with it because they've got, they all have such large fan bases that losing a couple of people over a, you know, what would be viewed as an awful move, they can sort of deal with. Because, oh my gosh, we've made a, the Lost Legacy will need a sequel. Seven? We got a t nine before. Seven. Informed gamer. Not informed at all, are ya? Well, that should give us some good boosts. And hopefully after we do our next game, we'll be able to make a custom engine. Because that'll really start bumping our games up. Excellent. Contract work. Which is good. Let's do some contract work. I cannot do that in four weeks. Probably not that either. I could do that. Let's do that. Because I don't think I've got enough. Oh, maybe I could do those other ones. What's this done in a few weeks? Let's make a test game. Let's do a little Mario Mitsuo platforming. Um. See, I, I probably shouldn't use the same names. Penalty 6k, we can lose a little bit of money. Kind of more trying to do it for the research points. Just to kind of bump that up. Don't scratch your head. Oh, we're not going to make the contract because you're scratching your head. Seriously? Uh, it's because you scratched your head for a week. How could you? Research. A game dev. There is actually an achievement too that I got when you make game dev type, like a game dev. In game dev, it's like game devception. Huh. Research game dev. We'll make one more game and then hopefully we can make a custom engine. Game dev. New game. License cost is 80. Yes, let's do it. We've got some money, let's do it. We can always do some... Um, let's do a strategy game. Let's do a... We'll do a strategy. Life, no, strategy. Post-apocalyptic strategy game? Can be like... Um... Yeah, that probably really does. Post-apocalyptic probably does not go on T the chess. Do I have casual? No. Let's do a a vampire action game called Vamps. Oh, you can feel this is going to be a flop before we even start, can't you? I can feel it. This is going to be the biggest flop. 
it, vampire action doesn't feel right. It's probably gonna be our first flop of the game. I just feel it. But you never know. Vamps could be a very successful character. It's about a vampire who is trying to live in a human world and then gets found out and has to try and fight his way out to to safety. Ooh. I'm not even believing that story pitch. Look at all the bugs. Oh, this is the biggest flop. Yeah, I'd be scratching my head for weeks at this one too. Oh, two bugs. This is going to be so bad. <laughs> See, I'm pretty sure the more bugs, the worse it's going to be. It's going to be the biggest flop. Who knows? Maybe get a, a Let's Play a Game Dev Tycoon is not going to go past a week. Man, we did not even get... I'm going to level a lot of stuff up, but we only got 11 11. What's a level 2s? Am I level 2? Yes, I'm a level 2 human. Release the game. Generate the game report. Let let this generation tell us how bad our game is. Oh, it's gonna be so bad. Oh, maybe it's not gonna be so bad. I was expecting you like it. That's well, that's gonna be a bad number. Shows potential. Yay! Wasn't a complete flop. Excellent. Ooh, we should be able to make our our um thingy engine. Great. Maybe we should see any new contract work. I can't do that. I could probably we'll do this contract and we'll leave it there. In the next episode, we'll make our first game engine. Yeah. It was a good thing I put vamps on the test. I mean, that is true. Nintendo was the first on the scene. It just feels like they kind of were outdone by their competitors. 16k. Alright. Oh. So we're going to leave it there for now. And in the next episode, we're going to make a game engine and hopefully move out of our basement or garage. So I want to thank you all for watching. If you've got any game tips or game games you want me to try and make or s combinations or anything like that or even titles for games let me know because I will use them so I want to thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next episode